AS Level Trigonometry Exam Preparation Questions Part 1 Before you start with these videos, first go to the Grade 12 AS Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success and work through the pages 152 to 216 to revise the basics. After that, you can try these videos. Let's start. Let's just highlight a few things. If you look at the trigonometric ratios of special angles, as soon as in some questions they don't want you to use the calculator. Okay, and I'll show you in that examples. Then we will come to the special angles. Can I just show you how we got the special angles? So it was basically, if you can remember, um, I just want to change the color. Make it red. So basically, it was an equilateral triangle, and then it was 2, 2, and then that was also 2. And then, I this was the half, so it's 1, and then with Pythagoras' theorem, I got the square root 3. And because it was an equilateral triangle, the, all the angles were 60 degrees. So that's the half, that's 30 degrees. Otherwise, you can also take the 60 as pi, over 3 and the 30 degrees as pi over 6 and work with that. But we'll come to an example. Then don't forget your cost diagram and don't forget in your cost diagram, if you go around this, it's positive and if you go in this direction, this will be negative. Okay, and I indicate it also there. And then the trigonometric identities. So look at the third letter. So cosec is an S, so it's 1 over sin theta. Sec, it's a C, so it's 1 over cos theta. And cot, it's a T, so it's 1 over tan theta. And then the quotient identities. Tan is sin theta over cos theta, so the sin is on top. And cot, then the cos is on top, cos theta over sin theta. And then don't forget your Pythagoras identities. So sin squared plus cos squared is 1. And also don't forget the, if it makes sin theta the subject of the formula, then it's 1 minus cos squared theta. Okay, and the same. Then the other one, uh, can I just show you here? Uh, 1 plus cot squared theta is cosec squared theta. And tan squared theta plus 1 is sec squared theta. So please don't forget that. And basically it's coming from then this by just dividing by sin, dividing by sin, dividing by sin, and the next time dividing by cos, cos, cos. Okay, so you can basically also derive that. Okay, cos squared, sin squared, and then cos squared, the same. Okay, let's go to the graph. So just remember the graphs, especially if you work with the cost, uh, um, cost diagram. So just don't forget the sin. It starts at zero. It goes up. It goes down between one and negative one. And that's 360, two pi. Then it's one full complete one. Then it starts repeating. And then cos, it starts at one, not at zero. And it goes up again. And then the tan, it's striving to that asymptote, not touching it and again. And then striving to that and this. So just know your basics to also help you in solving equations. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's look at the first example. Now, sometimes they can break it up in an A and a B, but sometimes they don't, and they just want you to first simplify the equation and then solve it. And this is basically in this example. So solve the equation. Now, if you look at it, it looks very complicated, like it stands there. But we're going to simplify it first. And also, if you look here, you will see that that's no equal sign. Theta is bigger than 0 and smaller than 180. Also very important to take note of that. Okay. So make this first 3 over 1. And then what do I do? I cross multiply. That's what I did there. Then I multiply the 3 in. Then I take everything to one side. And there's my tan. And there's my tan. And there's my sin. And there's my sin. Okay. And then basically I'm going to break it up into a tan, sin, cos, and sin over 1. Okay. And then as soon as I did that, I'm going to get rid of the denominator. So I multiply cos theta with all. 
and then basically my denominators is just going to cancel out and I'm just sitting with the numerators. And then I take out 2 sin theta as a common factor and I get 1 minus 4 cos theta and I break it up into two equations. This is my first equation. This is my second equation. And then I get sin theta is 0 or negative 4 and if I simplify it I get a quarter. But now take note. Due to my graph, it's there, can I show you? It's 0 at 0 when it starts and at 180. But if you can see, that is not included because there is no equal signs. So although that is solutions, if there was equal signs, but there's not equal signs. So this is not included due, due, due to the unequality signs. Okay. If you look at this one, this is blocking out. Where is cos? It's only in the first quadrant. So I press shift cos, bracket 1, divide 4, close the bracket, and I get 75.52. Make sure your calculator is on degrees. And then I'm just going to say, okay, now I can start. And I just it's just in the first, so I always approximate one decimal place, so it's 75.5 degrees. And that will be the only solution okay i want you to stop the video the first one is actually not so difficult and then um, there's another one which i will also show you but let's first start with number one stop the video and as soon as you are finished you can continue the video so express the equation this as a quadratic equation in sin theta okay let's start one so it's three cos theta equals 8 tan theta. Okay, so they want to express it as a quadratic. So what will I do? First, I will, most of the time, I break it up into sin and cos. So I'm going to have 3 cos theta, put it over 1, equals 8, break this one up, sin theta over cos theta. Then I cross multiply, so I get 3 cos square theta equals 8 sin theta. Okay, now I'm going to replace this one. And how do I replace it? I know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So basically, cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So basically, I'm going to just substitute in there. So it's going to be 3, 1 minus sin square theta. And that's going to be equal to 8 sin theta. So it's 3 minus 3 sin square theta equals 8 sin theta. Okay. I take everything to one side, so I think rather take it to the other side, do you, because I want the positive sin square theta. So I'm going to say 0 equals 3 sin square theta plus the 8 sin theta minus the 3, and that's equal to 0. So that will be question number A. Okay, now if you look here, you will see that didn't give you a domain. Okay, and it's at first you think, what is the domain? What is the domain? But then you look at the question. They say, hinge find the acute angle. So if they just say, if you have the cost diagram, can I just show you? So in the cost diagram, so this only, only in this quadrant, this is quadrant one, only in that quadrant, it's acute. So basically, they say between 0 and 90 degrees. Okay, so then 90 is a right angle, so it's between. So 91 obtuse and then um, reflex. So they are actually saying in the first quadrant. So hinge find the acute angle in degrees, which is this. So basically, they are asking me now just to solve this one. So solve 3 sin square theta plus 8 sin theta minus 3 equals 0. I'm just changing it around. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation, so I'm just going to simplify it. 
or I factorize it. So if I factorize it, can I quickly see it's 3 and 1 and 1 and 3 because I want to get to 9. So 9 because it's in group B. So 9 minus 1, that's 8. The biggest overcross product, which is that one, gets the middle sign, a positive, and this is a negative, and there is then sin theta. So I'm, I'm sitting with 3 sin theta minus 1 and sin theta plus 3 equals 0. So it's going to be 3 sin theta minus 1 equals 0 or sin theta plus 3 equals 0. So I'm going to have 3 sin theta is 1. I divide 3, I divide 3. So I get sin theta is equal to 1 over 3 or sin theta is equal to negative 3. Now, if I'm looking at this one, now if you look at the sin graph, I can even show you here, it's only going from 1 to negative 1. So it's not going to, so it's, it's, I'm going to reject it. Okay, so or not applicable or reject it. I'm only going to work with this one. And it's in quadrant 1. So basically it's just the basic angle, the key angle. So I'm going to press shift sin bracket 1 divide by 3. And I will get that theta is 19.5 degrees. Just make sure your calculator is on degrees. And as I said, it's just shift sin Bracket 1, divide 3, close the bracket, and it's 19.5 degrees. That is the acute. So, therefore, acute angle. Okay, let me roll that. <laughs> it's not nice. Acute angle. Okay, and that's the final answer. Very, very easy. Okay, let's do the next one. It's a bit more complicated formula. I want you to do the same. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number two. Solve the equation. So it's going to be tan theta plus three sin theta plus two over tan theta minus 3 sin theta plus 1 and that is equal and don't forget they say this is going to be between 0 and 90 it's actually also acute okay so if I'm looking at this one if I'm starting with this one so I'm just going to first make this a fraction by putting it over 1 then I cross multiply so I get 2 bracket and then it's going to be tan theta minus 3 sin theta plus 1 equals tan theta plus 3 sin theta plus 2. I multiply in, so it's 2 tan theta minus 6 sin theta plus 2. I'm bringing over already, so it's tan theta minus 3 sin theta minus 2 equals 0. So this is my tan, tan. This is my sin, sin. And this is my 2, 2. So let's start. So 2 tan minus, so it's going to be tan theta minus 9 sin theta and that cancel out and that's equal to 0. Okay. Now I'm going to take it from there. So now I'm going to break it up. I'm going to say this is equal to sin theta over cos theta minus 9 sin theta over 1 equals 0. So basically, to cancel out the cos theta, it's cos theta. I'm basically, I'm doing now a little bit different. If you can just, I say, I multiply cos theta over 1. I multiply cos theta over 1, I multiply cos theta over 1. So basically, if I do that, then this will cancel, and I'm sitting with sin theta 
minus 9, sin theta, cos theta, and that is equal to 0. So I take out sin theta, 1 minus 9, cos theta, and equal 0. So I'm having sin theta equals 0, or 1 minus 9 cos theta equals 0. So I have sin theta equals 0, or um, negative 9 cos theta equals negative 1. So therefore, cos theta equals 1 over 9. That's my two equations I'm working with. Are you with me? Now, because they say it's it's between it's from zero to ninety. So if I look at my sin graph, can I just show you my sin graph? Always know your pictures, then it's easy to work from. So my, my sin graph goes like this. Okay, there is one eighty, but there is ninety, and there is zero. But because it's included, I can already say that theta equals zero degrees. That's one answer. For this one. Where is cos? Now, if it's blocked out all, it's only a acute. So if I look at my base, base angle, I can say shift cos bracket. 1 divide 9 close the bracket equals, and I'm getting 83.62. Okay, so 83.62. So, but I only want one, so therefore, okay, so theta equals 83.6 degrees. So, therefore, um, theta equals 0 degrees or theta equals 83.6 degrees. And that is how you do it. We will continue in the next video. I want to end this video with three points. Point one, all these videos refer to the Y equals MX plus C textbooks, the number one mathematics textbook used in Namibian schools. For more information on these textbooks, visit the Straight Line Publishing website. Point two, all Y equals MX plus C to success textbooks are available in the NEET catalog of the Ministry of Education. Schools can order these using their yearly budget for textbooks, with the process typically starting mid-year. Make sure your learners have a copy of the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbook used by the top schools in Namibia in front of them in 2025. A final point. If you are in the position, I want to encourage you to buy your own personal copy of the Y equals MX plus C mathematics textbook. These textbooks are available at the following bookshops. Remember, success in mathematics comes from hard work, perseverance and the courage to face challenges head on.